Well, actually, we met a couple hours ago, but we haven't done any training. All we did was have lunch together. So we're gonna give Breezy a little lesson. So this is exactly what I would do if Breezy was my puppy and she arrived in my care at 12 weeks of age. Even though she's a Saluki and Salukis are shown stacked on the ground, I'm gonna do all of her training on a table because I have more control over what is going on. So this is how we like start our stacking training. And so we start by just, you know, making her figure out that she needs to stand on her own. And so I like to stack them up kind of at the back of the table, stay, and so that they can't back up. So the first thing we want to teach them is to not back up. The second thing is that we want to tell them how good they are and we want to have control of the head. So the head needs to be in this nice straight line and we pick up the leg from the elbow, from the elbow, and then, okay, so now she wants to back up. So she needs to learn that's the edge of the world, right there, there's the edge. So now we're going to start again. We're going to tell her what a good girl she is because we want this to be like a really quick, happy lesson. And we're going to stack, stay, stay. We need to have control of the head, shift their body weight. And so now she still wants to come off the back of the table. So we need to show her where the back of that table is, breezy. Good girl. So now once we have her stacked up, we want to kind of like just push her back a little bit so that she understands that she needs to start to learn how to lean forward. She needs to not back up. We don't want to do this with food because that gets us into a bad habit. And then once she stood, she's a little bit cold. We're just going to straighten out her top line. And she stood for like a good three seconds. That's when we tell her that she's a good girl, but we haven't quite reached that yet. So breezy. Good girl, that was so good. And then, you know, you just tell her that she's good, let her relax. We don't want this to be like a horrible experience for her. We want to get her nice and relaxed. It's really windy in here. She's cold, there's a lot of distraction. She hasn't met me, but now she still needs to understand that this is a lesson about stacking. So now we start to add a command to it where we go stay or stand and again, one front leg, two front legs, control of the head, control of that back leg, other back leg. And we can see quickly that she's getting into the routine now. Good girl. Like she understood that that is what she was supposed to do. So like let them have a little break. And so when we say that we're only stacking them and making them stand for like three seconds in the beginning, that's completely fine that you do it, you know, maybe four or five times. So that they get the idea that this is what they're supposed to do. See how quickly she's starting to get the hang of it? Good girl. Now we just want to look at her bite. Oh, good girl. Good girl. And immediately tell them how good they are. And this is how we start to create that muscle memory and just make things fun as we start stacking. So one more time. And you can see she's already has her back legs back where we needed them. She wants to learn that muscle memory again. Look at her bite. Good girl. And just tell her how good she is. So that's the very beginning lessons of stacking our puppy on a table. Uh, as you know, I'm a huge fan of happy legs. Um, I think they're a fantastic training tool because they really teach our dogs, do not move your feet. So do not move your feet is different than stand or stack or anything. So it's really important that you do this in a very positive way. Um, so the first thing that you do is you kind of have your dog next to the stilts and you kind of make sure that the stilts are going to be in the right place for your puppy. And then I like to just put their two front feet up on the stilts. And then I just like to put their two back feet, hopefully up on the stilts. There you go. And boom. So now we have her up on the stilts and she's like, what the heck is going on? So I'm really, really holding on to her head and neck. I'm not letting her choke. I'm not letting her do anything. And I'm creating muscle memory with the stack blocks because she knows that she has to stay on these. I can pull her tail to create a little bit of tension. She moves into her front and look at her stacking. Now she needs to understand, well, can't step off there. There's no world, right? Like there's no way that I can do this properly and just look. I understand that she's shaking, she's shaking because she's cold, not because she's nervous, but she's happy. She's happy. She's happy. Just look at her bite and then, nope. So we look at her bite, you can see that she still had to stay and then we need to give a command that means that you can be released from this, right? So I'm gonna go, okay, good girl. And I lift her right off and I just tell her how super smart she was for doing that whole 
work on the happy legs and he stood so well and it's pouring rain so she's gonna look outside of the rain and we're just gonna put her in there one more time what a good good girl you are breezy brush let her have a little sniff and we're just gonna put her front feet up and then we're gonna put the back feet right there and she needs to learn that there's some muscle memory to be had and this teaches her do not move your feet look at her like look at how gorgeous she looks and there we go little quick look at the bite boom what a good girl okay and you lift her right off and tell her how fantastic and literally between pre-stacking her on the table, then using the happy legs, we, you know, that was a 10 minute training session. And that's about what I would do every day for the next few weeks. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.